What's up, guys? Gus here. And Jesse right here. Thank you for tuning in again. So today we bring you guys an unboxing. This is actually for Zoe. So without further ado, let's see what we have. So, as you guys can see, we have the control arms. Um, so I, I found this post on eBay and uh, they advertised that these would fit the 300ZX and they were really cheap so I went ahead and just picked these up. Uh, I actually got the whole front set so we will be doing these very soon. Hopefully they fit. If they don't, we'll actually just return them but I'm pretty sure they will. I mean if the advertisers they fit for the most part I think they'll fit. Probably feel a little snug or a little weird, but they look the same as the. I mean, they look a little different. It's just that this is adjustable, and then these plates right here. But yeah, we'll get them installed here in the near future, and then show you guys the, this is the tension rod. This is quite. This is a little bit different setup than what is on my car, but uh, it should be able to bolt up. Uh, I was looking at the mounting points, and it looks. Pretty similar. So we went ahead and installed the front control arm and the tension rod. Uh, they seem to fit perfectly fine. Uh, the other side, it is bent where the control arm goes connected. So we are going to see if that lines up. And while we were here, we saw that uh, what is the cooling reservoir tank needs to be replaced. So we'll get to that as well. All right, guys, it's the next day. So we actually didn't record ourselves putting in the parts. Uh, it was actually quite windy that day and the audio quality, quality would have been terrible so we just didn't record it at all. But the parts are actually installed. Uh, we did run into a few hiccups and I went ahead and addressed that with the company. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen there but for right now uh, the parts are on the car and we're actually cleaning her up. Um, Gus is actually cleaning the trunk up. We actually never touched the car, we just literally parked it and that's where it sat. But as you guys can see... The arms are installed. Um, the issues that I am having is that uh, on this actual ball joint right here, there is actually the, the bolt, I would say, it's not um, tapered, so it's kind of just free in there and it would cause uh, actual play to be in the, in the actual knuckle. So I addressed that with the company, but for right now it's fine. Uh, let's see what happens with the company. Oh, and actually, I forgot to address this too. We went ahead and took off the fenders. Uh, so our plans with this car is uh, we're gonna try to get it as light as possible. As you guys can see, Gus is taking out the back seats right now. So what we're aiming to do is just have the essentials that you actually need, um, just headlights. Uh, we have the colder intake right there. But yeah, um, we're actually gonna pick up two other, or a whole set of other wheels. Um, so we'll see what we do. But here inside the car, Gus has Taking off the back seats and we're just gonna go ahead and remove all these panels uh, like I said the bare essentials uh, we will eventually be switching out these seats um, probably likely taking this shit out too because we want some harnesses in there but for right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start helping them out all right guys it's the next day so I'm gonna just give you a quick little walk around on the 300 ZX I actually just want you guys to see uh, how the car is currently sitting uh, last night it got a little too dark so I didn't record anything but we did quite a bit to the car we actually ended up removing most of the dash uh, you'll see but um, for right now I'm gonna give you a quick little walk around we're actually gonna be working on this car today again um, we're probably gonna be trying to uh, delete the AC some people might be a little mad about that but for the purpose of this car we don't need AC uh, so we want as much power as we can get out of it although we're not really gonna get any power gains uh, we would be releasing I mean relieving some of the like pull on the actual pulley so it should help out um, but for right now let me show you the car pretty similar to what we had it yesterday um, something that I do want to address back here um, we will be trying to invest into a welder and uh, I actually do want to delete that bumper uh, the reason being is I actually do want to create a chassis mounted wing for this uh, I will insert a picture of what I want it to look like As long as I have a welder, I think I'd be able to create some stuff like that. But 
for the time being i don't have that so it's gonna stay like so um a little issue that we're having is that um it looks if you guys can see the bondo work it looks like this car probably took a hit to the back right here and uh the previous owner had to put some new tail lights in there i believe these are the like the speed daddy ones or the dna motoring whatever you want to call it but they're not connected so only thing that actually works on those is the reverse lights um but there's no brake lights that's something that we got to fix if we want to be really using this car because it is going to be a dedicated track car but it will be on the street from time to time you know we're going to be doing stuff on the street so we want it to be legal uh and another thing is uh i'm not too sure why this previous owner chose to uh like use this certain muffler or tip whatever but i think that's hideous um this looks like it belongs like some old school but this is not that so for right now let me show you the interior oh and another thing uh it looks like the previous owner maybe forgot his keys one day and uh he it looks like he had to like wedge this door open but inside here uh i think last time we showed you guys we had only deleted this stuff back here uh we actually had to throw the stuff back in there because we don't have a big enough traction to fit all of it but all that stuff is deleted um i actually do want to delete the abs uh, i found this company who makes a delete kit for that so we might be investing in that because um since this car is going to be a drift car uh not having or not being able to lock up your brakes from time to time might be an issue so we will probably be deleting that it's a pretty big system so we might be alleviating 10 15 pounds just by doing that but up here we actually ended up deleting the dash uh we did keep uh i think it is for the mirrors who knows if these mirrors even work but we did keep keep that switch but inside of here we basically deleted everything um the glove box everything right here we probably will be putting that back in without a stereo um we're gonna delete everything these door panels are gonna go um for right now we might just leave the actual seat belts in place uh until we get some new seats and a heart or two seats and, a, and new harnesses a uh, harness bar and whatnot but um we will be taking out the carpet um we don't feel bad doing this this car just because the previous owner spray painted absolutely all of the interior if you guys can see uh the carpet was brown and now it is black it looks like he just literally took spray paint to it but that's the reason why we don't feel bad doing this to this car yesterday when we had the car up in the air uh we actually did find an issue with the rack and pin uh since the car took a pretty major hit on this side and it broke or it broke the tension arm and then it left this control arm looking like that when in reality it should look like this uh it likely messed up the rack and pin so we're likely gonna have to invest to a new rack and pin and just uh furthermore like refresh the the suspension but that's just things just for our safety uh we don't potentially want something breaking down the line or something because uh this car actually does have a power steering belt and whatnot and the pole pump and everything ex but the car does not have power steering so i feel like that would be kind of a symptom of a bad rack and pin so we're gonna be investing in that and yeah we're gonna be finding issues along the way and it's just things we're gonna have to fix but it's no biggie as long as we can get the car to run perfectly fine uh that's all we want uh but for right now the car is almost almost there uh like i said we're gonna be deleting the ac today we're gonna be taking off even more weight our plan is for this car to sit hopefully hopefully in like the 28 to 2900 pound range i think it's actually gonna weigh more um it's a heavy car uh i think it weighs as much as these two big girls right here or that's not even a girl <laughs> But yeah, 